basic units of time, are, a year, a month, a day, an hour, a minute, a second. Time units are based on the period of rotation of the Earth around its own axis and around the Sun, as well as on the rotation of the Moon around the Earth. The time during which the Earth makes a rotation around the Sun is called a year. Month is a time during which the Moon makes a rotation around the Earth. The time during which our planet makes one rotation around its axis is called a day. We know that there are 30 or 31 days in a month. There are 28 days in February, while there are 29 days in February in a leap year. And of course, we all know that there are 12 months in a year. There are also other periods of time. For example, a week is 7 days. A decade is 10 days. A quarter is 3 months. In educational institutions, it is customary to determine time by academic hours. That is the time of one lesson and also in quarters or semesters. The SI unit of time is the second. Today we will learn to quickly and easily convert one unit of time to another. Really? Easily? First remember this, then remember that. Professor, you are good at talking. You have already reached a respectable age. Look how long you have lived. You had enough time to remember all this rubbish. <sighs> well, don't waste our time. Finally, give us your rules. Take the tail off the system. We are trying to save your private life. Hope she won't notice your respectable age, since you're so interested in her. Let's memorize the chain. There are 24 hours in a day. 60 minutes in an hour, 60 seconds in a minute. Rule number one. If you convert in the same direction as the arrows show, you should multiply by factors that you encounter on the way. To convert hours to minutes, you need to multiply the number of hours by 60. To convert hours to seconds, you need to multiply the number of hours by 60 and one more time by 60. To make it easier for you to count, we have already calculated this product. And therefore, next time you can simply multiply the number of hours by 3600 at once. Similarly, we convert minutes to seconds. The number of minutes is multiplied by 60. And to convert days into hours, you need to multiply the number of days by 24. It happens so rarely, but still sometimes you might need to convert a day into minutes or seconds. If necessary, you can easily do this according to this chain. To convert days into minutes, firstly you need to multiply the number of days by 24, and then by 60. And so on along the chain. Let's as usual, practice with examples. Let's multiply 2 and a half hours by 60 minutes. We get 150 minutes. 2 and a half hours are 150 minutes. To convert 2 and a half hours into seconds, you need to multiply 2.5 by 3600 seconds. We get 9000 seconds. 0.6 of a minute equals 36 seconds. We've multiplied 0.6 by 60 seconds. Let's convert 7 days. By the way, 7 days are the week. So let's convert them into hours. 7 times 24 hours. We get 168 hours. Rule number 2. We will convert the units of time in the opposite direction. Ha! Huh. We're changing the rules. Now we will convert small, that is, submultiple units of time into multiples. That is large units. We need some fractions here. Look, a second is 1 60th of a minute and 1 3600th of an hour. One minute is 1 60th of an hour. One hour. 1 24th of a day. That's the whole theory, we can convert now. 7200 seconds convert to hours. 
so 7200 must be multiplied by 1 3600 equals 2 hours. Convert 300 seconds into minutes. 300 must be multiplied by 1 60th. We get 5 minutes. Convert 600 minutes to hours. Let's multiply 600 by 1 60th. This is equal to 10 hours. 120 hours need to be converted to days. So 120 is multiplied by 1 24th. Thus we get 5 days. Now we recommend you to practice on your own. The answers as you already know, can be found by the link in the description. Good luck. See you in the next episode.